Hey friends, um, so today is day one after the big uh, PAO periacetabular osteotomy surgery yesterday and I'm doing really freaking good. You guys look at this, I'm sitting in a chair. I'm sitting in a chair. I'm not in the bed, I'm in a freaking chair for the first time after my hip has been reconstructed and it's amazing. It is the first step on a what's gonna be a long journey but um, I'm so proud of myself right now, you guys. I was so terrified of all of the surgeries and I made it to the first one and I won't go into too much detail, but there was a, a little bit of a, a bad time in the after uh, post-op and that one. And so when I came to this one, I was so anxious. I literally threw up like four times yesterday morning before we got here and uh, it was rough, but I did it. I did it and it's done and now it's going to be a lot of work and determination but i have so much hope and it's overwhelming and i know it might not sound like a big deal to you guys for me to sit into it in a chair but i have been mostly stuck in my bed or my wheelchair for the past better part of four years it's been so long since i had any kind of hope and today i'm sitting in this chair looking out this window at this beautiful view and i can see it I can see myself running with my children in the forest, or walking anyway, um, and the doctor said that that's absolutely acceptable to do, because my hips will be perfect. They'll be absolutely brand new and healthy. Um, so yeah, today's a good day. Uh, we did have a couple of things happen that were kind of sucky. Let's see, I didn't really like to focus on that, but I'll go over it anyway, because if anybody is having the surgery and wants to know what it's like, I'll tell you what the whole process was. So we got here at, uh, we checked in at eight o'clock in the morning yesterday, got into pre-op and they gave me an IV and um, Brian got to hang out with me for like two, two hours until surgery time. And then he left before I did, they took me back, they got my spinal blocks in um, which basically you're just laying on your side on the bed and they're poking you with some needles in the in the back and mine are really hard to get so it took a little bit of extra effort but it wasn't it wasn't unbearable and Dr. Gonzalez who is my anesthesiologist was amazing um, and my nurse who Jesse who's down there is also amazing and the whole operating team was absolutely amazing everybody here has been amazing but uh, we got into the emergency or into the operating room and they give you a mask and tell you to breathe deep and all that and then you don't remember anything and then you wake up and when I woke up from this surgery there was a lovely nurse there that looks like a very good friend of mine and I told her that and she was absolutely wonderful and then my awesome surgeon and his fellow came over and his um, physician's assistant came over and checked on me saw how I was doing told me that everything went beautifully and uh, shook my hand, said thank you for trusting me with your procedure, and I said thank you for doing my procedure, and that was great. And then I got up to my room about, I wanna say like three or four yesterday afternoon, it was pretty early still, and they got me all settled into bed and um, medicated and fed, and then last night I slept pretty decently. I did wake up several times, but it wasn't, anything you know horrible it was mostly just like hospital noises or somebody coming in to check your vitals or you know how hospitals are this morning i woke up and my leg was still totally numb um, i have gotten most of the feeling back in it now but i do still have a pain pump which is actively numbing that area which is beautiful and awesome it is keeping so much of the pain away i'm so grateful for it um and so yeah it's basically just been hanging out and doing whatever I feel like in between meds and then PT comes and works with me today. I stood up, um, I got to the edge of my bed. Oh, yesterday I actually sat on the edge of my bed and dangled my feet, but I was too numb to stand up. So today um, I dangled my feet at the edge of the bed. I stood up with a walker on my own with no assistance. I got into the chair with no assistance and then they drug the chair into the corner for me. So everything is going absolutely swimmingly and I'm just, really really proud of myself you guys this has been the absolute hardest thing I've ever had to say yes to in my life it is a terrifying prospect it is a huge thing to commit to three surgeries and especially the periacetabular osteotomy because that one is a huge surgery and I know that recovery is not going to be a straight line up it's going to be a series of steeps and valleys and 
I just want anybody who might have to have this surgery to know that I haven't even been out of surgery for a day and it's worth it. I can already tell. Um, never in my life have I ever been able to sit in a chair and feel comfortable. And my hip has always been out. And now I can move my leg around in any direction and it never comes out. It's a miracle. It's an absolute miracle. It's game changing. But not only that, this experience has shown me how much um, strength and resilience I've had. And I hadn't given myself the grace or the acknowledgement that I deserved. But when I saw my labrums and my hips and the way that they were acting pre-op on the video that Dr. White made for me, I realized that I have been living my entire life at a disadvantage and I do my best to never complain. And I'm just, I'm humbled by my own strength. And I'm so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself for saying yes to this because it was tremendously scary. It was so terrifying to say yes to this. The alternative was worse for sure. They said if I didn't have these surgeries, what would happen is my hips would continue to chew themselves apart and I would probably need a total hip replacement in five to 10 years. And because of my age, I would need another total hip replacement in 20 years and another total hip replacement in 30 years and another hip replacement in 40 years. So if I make it that far, you know, um, which is perfectly feasible because 70 isn't even that old. 75 isn't that old. So knowing that I would have to have four, five, six total hip replacements versus these three surgeries, I would absolutely much rather do that now when I'm young and able to heal and um, avoid all that. And to keep my own to keep my own hips, my native hip, because that is the best thing that you can do. So uh, as hard as this has been and as hard as this is going to be, I would say if your doctor feels like this is the thing that you need to do, it's worth it. I know it's terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. It's the scariest thing you'll ever have to go through. But on the other side, it's nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. It really isn't. Um, and everybody has been so compassionate and caring. And if you're in Colorado and you need a hospital to go to, Sky Ridge is amazing. The food's good. The people are great. Um, yeah, everybody here has just been absolutely amazing. So that's my update for today. Um, I was planning on making a video yesterday for surgery day and I just was so anxious and throwing up. I didn't really think you guys wanted to see that. Um, so I didn't, I didn't take a video of that. So we're doing today instead and today we're doing fantastic. We are making huge strides and celebrating. Um, I feel like I have had a self-doubt ectomy. They have removed any doubt I had in myself. I believe in myself so wholeheartedly now because I did it, you guys. And I'm, I'm in awe of myself. And I know that that might sound weird or conceited or self-centered, but I don't even care. This was huge and I did it. I said yes. And it is absolutely terrifying. But I said yes. And here I am. It is done. It is done. And it is well with my soul. And I'm just so grateful. Because for years I've been told that there was nothing that they can do. I've been told by some of the best orthos in Colorado that my hips were pristine. And luckily I found Dr. Brian White and Dr. Presley Swan, and they have taken the most excellent care of me. And both of my surgeries went perfectly. I'm just so grateful, you guys. I'm so grateful, and God is good always, always, even when it's hard. Um, any bad experience that you have, you can turn into a lesson. So just keep that in mind. You know, if I can do this, then you can do anything, because I don't really think I'm that tough. But I did this, so I'm just rambling now, and I am going to just sit here quietly and let my body speak to me and give thanks because today's a good day. It's a really good day, and I'm just so grateful. So don't forget to be nice to yourselves and each other, and that you are beautiful, blessed, beloved beings, and I'm so happy you exist in my world, and whatever challenges you're facing right now, you're going to get through it. You are going to get through it. I believe in you. All right, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.